Hey girlfriends and boyfriends, welcome back to another video. I'm Ashley if you're new. And if you're not new and you're already one of mine, hey girl, hey boy, I told you I was gonna call you back. I'm starting this video off bare lips because we're about to get into some news. I know that it's kind of hard for dark skinned girls to find news, but I wanted to be the one to alleviate that problem. So here we are. I'm gonna give you some of my top nude lips. They probably will look all the same, but they'll kind of have different hints of like more pink or less pink more beige or less beige and when i say i want to give you a variety i want to give you a variety a variety of price factor a variety of um of not affordability well affordability that's price and um accessibility that's what i was trying to say because some stuff you got to order some stuff you can go to the store and get today so yeah i just wanted to do that so if you're interested in this and just keep watching so i'm gonna start off with the nude that i do all the time when i say all the time all the time if you know me then you know this right here is everything to me this is the wet and wild pencil in simma simma brown i think that's the name of it i have so many of these i stock up on these because i need these always this is like the perfect brown for me like it's so dark and for me a new lip is dark on a dark woman i hate new lips where the brown is like really really light for a dark woman i love a deep one so this one gives me that deep brown and then it's this girl her name is cat she's a influencer on facebook she does her makeup and stuff on facebook and so i have fallen in love with her products and so one of her um lippy she has a lot of them but one of them i use religiously and this is brulee and i'll show it to y'all it's like a really muted like pink it's got a little bit of pink in it but it's like very very muted almost beige and so i use that and then i like to go in with mark jacobs so i go in with mark jacobs what is the name of this sugar 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 enamored sugar sugar enamel but this is it here and I go in with this. I also go in. It's the girl that I went to school with. <clears throat> and I buy her products. I love her products. It's called C. Lauren Cosmetics. I go in with this as well. But today I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs. Because that's what I've been using more recently. And after that I go in with the topper. Because I love a glossy lip. This is just a clear gloss. You can get a clear gloss from anywhere. So let's get into the lip. And then we'll come back and talk about it. So this is a lip that I wear religiously. When I say religiously, it's just like the perfect nude for me. It's really deep and then in the inside it's not too bright, but it's not too dark. And then that little pop of color, I love to put a gloss on top because it just solidifies my lipstick. So I love it. And then that gloss, like that extra mm, on it, like that's so fine to me. Um, I just wanted to show y'all like the look with the lip gloss. The other looks I'm probably not going to do lip gloss with them because I want you to see the full depthness of the lip liners and the lipsticks that I'm going to show you. But I did want to show you a representation of what I wear every day. Like when I say every day, every single day. If I'm not feeling a little jazzy and just don't want to spice it up, I wear this and it is the best thing going. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all this lip. It's so nice, so amazing. My hair is on my face. And so, yeah, this is the lip I use every day. When you see this lip, think about Ashley's signature new lip. And yeah, so now we're going to get into the next lip. All right, so I've already introduced y'all to Scratch by Cat, so y'all know who that is because one of the things from the last lip was Scratch by Cat. So this one is going to be a Scratch by Cat duo. I'm going to use one of her browns and one of her nudes to create the perfect nude lip for dark skin. So I'm going to use two of her lipsticks. So as you can see, one is a pinkish nude and one is a brown. So the brown is Tiramisu. And it's a really deep brown. It's not as deep probably as my Wet n Wild Simma Simma Brown. But it's really deep. And then the nude is Macaroon. And it is like a pinkish nude. So I'm going to go in with those. And you'll see how I can create this look using two 
liquid lipstick. This new lip is the one that's really, really easy. I wanted to incorporate liquid lipsticks because I know there might be some of you all that like liquid lipsticks. So I wanted to include two liquid lipsticks that would um, combine together to make the perfect new lip. Looking at this, it doesn't really look bad. I like deeper browns, but as you can see, the brown is closer to my skin tone. So that makes for a softer ombre. If you like a softer ombre, then this lip combo will be perfect for you. If you're like my complexion or if you're like dark skin and then the inside is like a pinkish nude. So it doesn't look white or crusty. I wanted to pair this specific brown with a pinkish nude because it's closer to my skin. And if I was to put like a whitish beigey nude, it would kind of look really ashy. It would look very ashy, but this doesn't look ashy. I still would probably put gloss and stuff on this, but I just wanted to show you how it looks without the gloss. Just to give you a feel of how to look if you were to keep it matte. We know how it's going to look glossy because I just showed it to you, but yeah. So, this is number two. Now, <laughs> to number three. And girl, gotta use the take the day off to get this off because this liquid lipstick isn't going anywhere. I'm gonna go back to my dark Simma Simma Brown. So I am going to be using, let me get it girl, so I can show it to y'all again. Simma Simma Brown for this one. But for my lip color, I'm going to be using Fenty Unbutton. And this is what it looks like. It's called Unbutton. And so I'm gonna use that and show y'all how, you know, that looks on my lip. I really love this combo. It's like top tier. If I didn't wear the other one every day, I will wear this one every day. So I'm just about to get into it and show y'all this look and then we'll come back and talk about it. So this is like top two of my favorite nude lipsticks. I love this one because it's so peachy. And peachy tones go very well with dark skin, especially my skin. Like my blush is always peachy. I love peachy just tones on me. It makes me look sun-kissed and just really, really like glowy. And so this lip right here, it is neutral, but it's very peachy. It has a peachy undertone. And y'all, when I say it's amazing it's amazing it is a liquid lipstick this is a liquid lipstick but when i say it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't go anywhere and that's why i kind of like liquid lipsticks and most of my new lips are liquid lipsticks i do have some that aren't like liquid but for the most part i like to stick to a liquid because i know that if i put it on it's not going to go anywhere but y'all this is amazing rihanna did it with this one it's like the perfect muted look almost and i didn't put a lot of brown because i kind of wanted to ombre it into that peachiness and as you can see it ombre really really well like if you look at it it ombre amazingly so that's what i was going for but you can make it deeper like really deeper around here and then that peach is gonna really pop. But for me, I like it this way. <laughs> yeah, this is number three. We got two more to go. So let's just go to the next one. All right, so we're going kind of classic. If you were a Mac girl, nine times out of 10, you had this in your collection back in the day this is one that i keep in my collection and that is a velvet teddy y'all my velvet teddy always looks like this the thing is so low like it's so low but it always looks like this velvet teddy is literally one of the most iconic lipsticks that mac ever came out with especially for brown skin girls like 
This is the best lipstick ever. And I'm gonna pair this with a different kind of brown. I don't wanna simmer, simmer brown y'all to death. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with a ColourPop brown. Okay, so I decided against the ColourPop only because this one is better. So this is the Juvia's Place pencil in Cola. And this is what it looks like. It's really deep, but not really as deep as Simmer Simmer Brown. And I'm just gonna line my lips with this and then fill it in with Velvet Teddy. And we'll come back and talk about it. This is for the girls that like a softer nude lip. That's why I use the cola. That's why I went in with this one. I was gonna go in with ColourPop, but it's darker than this one. But I wanted to give y'all like a soft option. I kind of actually like this. And I'm gonna keep saying it all throughout this video. Like I'm always a deep, 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 deep brown girl. But I kind of like this. I would wear this if I was going for like a more neutral, like you don't have nothing on your lips but you really do kind of look i would go for that or if i didn't want like that super super like oomph in your face nude i would go for something like this and just put like a gloss on top of it or something it's really soft really airy and so this is for the ones that just don't like that super harsh nude lip i love a super harsh nude lip though so so good but as you can see like this brown is really close to my skin and it just makes for the perfect ombre effect for the lip and very very soft and i think that's something that us dark skin girls could take advantage of i mean who can have a who can have a soft new lip as cute as this like who <laughs> we're gonna get into our last one and then i'm gonna wrap the video up <laughs> And I just wanted to dedicate my last lip to girls that don't necessarily like the lipstick look, but just like the gloss look. So I'm gonna do a nude and a gloss. I'm gonna use Simma Simma Brown because typically when I do only gloss looks, I like to make sure that my dark, dark browns are on my lips because I don't want to look like I have nothing on my lip. I'm gonna go in with the Lix Lingerie Lip Gloss in the color Shy. This is what it looks like. It's a really pigmented, really deep, deep, nude and i really love that so y'all already know how this go i'm about to line my lips and then i'm gonna put the gloss on and then we're gonna come back and talk about it As y'all can see, this one is really glossy. It kind of looks like the first look that we did without all the extra steps. And that's why I love the NYX lingerie line, especially the glosses, because they look so amazing. Like, it looks like I have on um, a lipstick and a lip gloss on top of my lipstick. I absolutely love this stuff. It is amazing. This is like a really quick fix for me too when I don't feel like doing all the extra steps. And then also I take these with me too. Um, my Simma Simma Brown and then my NYX Lingerie and Shy. I take those with me when I've done my signature lip and I don't want to take everything that makes my signature lip with me. I just take this gloss and I'm good to go. With my little lip liner, I'm good to go. I did want to incorporate this into the video because I know some people just don't like to do all the extra stuff. Some people just want to go and put a gloss on and a little liner and just call it a day. And NYX lingerie line is definitely the line. They have so many other colors that are so pigmented and when you put them on, they're actually the color. Like this color looks exactly like what I have on my lips. And they have so many other colors and I have so many other colors of their line and it's like the same pigmentation. So that's just like top tier for me. But yeah, I hope you all found this video really helpful. I just kind of wanted to share this with you just so you can have some options when it comes to nude lips. I know as for dark girls, we don't always have the perfect nude lip but for me i think i've mastered it i found the perfect one a lot of people always ask me what i have on my lips because it's so perfect and i guess it's so perfect because it goes with my skin really well but yeah so that about wraps up the video don't forget to like this video it helps me a lot and if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe so i can officially be your girlfriend and as always in true ashley fashion i'll call you back bye